So the main reason for this drop has been the gap between the formal and the informal exchange rate offered in Sri Lanka. The curb market rate was um, much higher than the formal exchange rate offered in the banking sector. So that was an incentive for migrant workers to send remittances through informal channels. So with this um, recent uh, floating of the foreign exchange rate, I think uh, there will be more alignment between the formal and the informal foreign exchange rate, which will encourage uh, migrant workers to send remittances through the formal channels. Now, it is also important to understand the drop in remittances to the formal channel was not only because uh, of this gap in the exchange rate. There were other factors also contributing to this. Uh, one was this um, policy that was introduced a couple of months back, which says that said that uh, foreign uh, currency deposits had to be converted or inward uh, remittances had to be converted. So these were also discouraging migrant workers to send remittances to the bank sector. And also there was a lot of confusion about how the incentives for the uh, worker remittances will be uh, factored in along with this new policy, uh, the floating exchange rate policy. So once these confusions are, are ruled out and migrant workers have a clear understanding about how the incentive is gonna work and how the exchange rate is gonna work and if their remittances are protected in the bank accounts and how much is going to be converted uh, to rupees on a regular basis, I think that will um, incentivize migrant workers to send remittances through the formal, ch send, uh, formal channels re regularly.